For 20 years, Chief Meteorologist Cameron Moreland. Cooler weather is headed back towards northeast Wisconsin. Let's take a look at your seven day temperature trend. You can expect highs mainly in the lower 70s tomorrow. The normal high is 79. We will kick off July on a relatively cool note as well. And then we'll really warm up. In fact, we're going to have fantastic weather as we move into the big holiday weekend. Right now, we are looking at kind of a mixture of good and not so great weather. I guess you could say we've got a mixture of sunshine, clouds and some showers and thunderstorms, and that is obviously having an effect on the temperature. 68 degrees in Menominee compared to 75 in Oshkosh. We've got 74 degrees in Watoma. Right now in Green Bay, it is cloudy and we have some light rain moving through from a dying thunderstorm that is pushing slowly east. 69 degrees with southwest winds at around three miles per hour. The dew point is in the 60s as well, so it is just a little humid out there. NBC 26 precision radar shows scattered showers and thunderstorms from eastern Wisconsin back towards central Wisconsin, where they become just a little more numerous. These thunderstorms have been producing a decent amount of cloud to ground lightning activity throughout the afternoon and early evening, but it looks like a lot of the lightning activity is starting to diminish as some of the uh, heavier showers and thunderstorms start to fall apart just a bit. Now, earlier today, we actually had a couple of severe thunderstorm warnings across the state. One one was in Washera County where there was the threat for some hail and some damaging winds. That thunderstorm popped up quickly and diminished quickly. And we're still looking at the threat for mainly rain this evening. That would be the uh, main threat out of these thunderstorms, heavy rain. Although earlier we did have a little bit of hail, especially across western Shawano County, also into parts of central Washera County. As you take a look at NBC 26 Precision Radar, once again, you can see kind of a dying area of showers and thunderstorms here across the Fox Valley. The heaviest thunderstorm across the entire viewing area right now is just south of Green Lake down towards Marcusan. This is dropping to the south. And then we've got another line of showers and thunderstorms that is pushing Pushing off towards the east. All this activity is developing ahead of our next weather maker, which is a cold front, and that cold front is still off to the north. So we're going to keep that chance of showers and thunderstorms in the forecast throughout the night into tomorrow morning. Once again, some of the thunderstorms have been severe, especially across west central Wisconsin, where we still have a watch and a couple of warnings here stretching back into eastern Minnesota. You can see the cold front approaching from the north this evening. That cold front will move through the area later on tonight into tomorrow morning and then behind it some cooler weather today highs close to 80 for the third straight day behind it mainly lower 70s and those lower 70s will work in tomorrow so we're going to kind of wrap up the month of june on a cooler note temperatures will be running below normal we'll keep that chance of showers and perhaps a few thunderstorms in the forecast throughout the night and then tomorrow morning plenty of clouds with some scattered showers those clouds will break up into just a little bit of sunshine as we move into the afternoon so your forecast for tonight does call for showers and thunderstorms. Once again, the main threat from any thunderstorms from here on out would be some heavy rain. Overnight lows right around 60. Tomorrow, clouds and showers early, then perhaps a little bit of sunshine. More sunshine north, more clouds south. It's going to be breezy and cooler with highs right around 72. Sunshine giving way to some clouds on Wednesday and then just some fantastic weather for Thursday and Friday for the 4th of July. It looks great. Highs in the lower to mid 80s. The same goes for Sunday. And then a chance for showers and thunderstorms as we head back uh, to work on Monday. So, I mean, my notes looking yes. fantastic. Maybe the best weekend of the entire year for the 4th of July. Yeah, weekend. only one thing I don't like there. What would that tomorrow be? Tomorrow it said rainy and breezy. I'm going to be on Lake Michigan really early <laughs> tomorrow morning. How's that going to be? Uh, rainy and breezy. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Kevin. No lightning, though. You'll be no fine. No lightning? Yeah. Okay. We'll be all right then. Yeah. Still ahead of NBC.